art of common sense is long forgotten since the unfortunate discovery of drugs. Beg for mercy while the society's innocence is smoked up and swept away in angel dust. The abusers grew angel wings and had them clipped at the gates of hell. So when your chest swell with that forbidden substance, remember death doesn't give a second chance, no second glance of your life. You die, and your soul will either fly or lie below the lowest surface. I traveled that road. A cloak of marijuana smoke to hide me from my issues. My skin tissues reeked of the sin of a sinner with an intent to attempt to get higher than Jesus. <laughs> I don't mean any harm, plus Mary's charm is unavoidable. And love of Mother Nature's poison, but no guilt crosses my mind. No, not at all. I continued to smoke until imagination mixed with reality and my life's formality crumbled into pieces. What's the thesis of my life story? It doesn't matter. I was drug influenced, so I barely graduated among other students. What would my life be like if I had been 14 and gullible, troubled and lustful enough to undress Mother Nature down to her herbal skin and breathe in my last breath of innocence, not knowing when to end because I'd forgotten where it begins? I mean, I was just a boy in school, too cool for ordinary, so I wanted to be famous and someone extraordinary. In love with my dreams and infatuated with the girl of my dreams, I felt destined to fall in love and drown in her essence if time would gift me with her presence. And even as I speak these words, my mind dances on a flashback with our ones and sing heartbeats. She an angel, and I am sinner. It was a forbidden love. She disappeared when I chose to be among my peers rather than love her for years. But realize that that was a past that broke along with the glass of a reflection that I once thought of as perfection, just because I knew how to lie to myself. What if I told you that I created myself anew the day I made a bold move to join a courageous group to save the world? A hero to be, and it was all so simple to me. <laughs> but I am but a poet on a selfless mission, a man of many words and many minds, and when I write on these many lines, similes kiss the page so sweetly. Ideas make love to reality and combust into metaphors, with words rather poisonous to hear. But how so when the ink bleeds and causes these pages to come to life, similar to the feeling of freedom? If I could just free many souls with these words that flow from the heart and unfold, I'd do it with a whisper and a kiss. And welcome you all to bliss. Yeah.